Well, in a week where the health pandemic has escalated significantly, we have maintained a full book of races in New South Wales. But as the threat of COVID-19 continues to spread its tentacles across the state, new measures have been reintroduced to protect the harness racing industry in New South Wales. Hello and welcome to another edition of The Sprint Lane. This week brought to you by Trump Bloodstock, who this breeding season will be standing Propulsion, Sebastian Kay and Pet Rock, of course supported by Harness Racing New South Wales and our Stallion Incentive Scheme. Now some news in case you missed it yesterday. It's a proactive return to regional racing, of course, as a result of the health pandemic. Now that comes into play next Wednesday, that's August 18. Now it also will have an impact on the Breeders' Challenge Series where the state will be divided into regions, a lot like what we did with the TAB Regional Championship Series. So if you need more information, it's on our website, but please be assured decisions like these aren't made lightly. It's for the best interests of the industry going forward. Now onto the track and we had some cracking racing this week. My ultimate Andy given full bore at the 100. They're not getting close at the moment. Western Soul runs to a clear second. My ultimate Andy bounces back to the winner's circle in style. What it? A driving double down there in Wagga for Jackson painting. Further north in Newcastle, a great story. The young Colt Luigi winning in his fourth start for father-son duo Gary and Dale Spencer. They bred Luigi and he's their pride and joy. So to see Luigi get the win was a great family moment. A special mention of Gary too. He looks after the maintenance there at the Newcastle track. So we're super thrilled for him. Now it was a busy night on Friday. We also raced at Parks. Amanda Turnbull had a driving double, bringing that up with Ulta Madeira on what was a very successful night for the entire Turnbull family. Congratulations to all the connections of Ulta Madeira. Jeff Brown trained and drove a double as well. He was going his own way with Fleetwood Rock to break up the Turnbull domination. And the Pay Brothers also had a win each. Jack delivering for his trainer, Uncle Brett, with Sparky Sharky. Sparky Sharky comes through the middle. It's girl just fly, but Sparky Sharky. Sparky Sharky over the top two good. Now just the three races at Leeton on Tuesday night before the meeting had to be abandoned due to a fire in one of the light towers. Enough time for Reese Maguire to drive a winner with Cassius, his first winner in two months, so well done Reese. At Bathurst on Wednesday, Blake Migaliff drove a double, including this one on Old Luke, which yesterday in our weekly edition of the final quarter, Michael Dumasey awarded it our Drive of the Week. It's charging through old Luke. He got the split with 50 to go. Old Luke took the front and he got up. Now you may remember last week, we congratulated Jack Callaghan for bringing up his 200th winner with Walk a Mile In My Shoes. Well, he franked that by making it back-to-back -back wins at Penrith last night. Trying hard as Ed Mendez. Ed might have the favorite here, kicking back Walk a Mile In My Shoes. It's brave, Walk a Mile In My Shoes has fought back. I reckon Walk a Mile In My Shoes has been able to grip on from Ed Mendez. And while we're talking about milestones, Dean Chappell is on the verge of one in the North West. He won with Smiling last night in Tamworth to make it 699 career wins. Smiling in front, Comanche gonna launch. Too late, brother. Smiling gets the cash. Some great performances at Menangle over the past week. Leighton Green drove a double for Dean and Kerry McDowell. This one, Major Obama. If you were shopping for value, he's hoping you found Darren Binskin's Seki Monkey on Tuesday. It won at $81 on the tote. The Quinella paid a whopping $950. Well done if you landed it. Jason Grimson trained three winners at headquarters on Saturday night, including Rock and Roll Angel, which was one of three winning drives for Cameron Hart. The leader is Burnham Boy. Can Rock and Roll Angel peg it back? The Black Prince is trying to fight back over the top, finishing brilliantly. Rock and Roll Angel grabbed the lead in the shadows, and Rock and Roll Angel, there's a win, and what a drive. A driving double for Jack Trainer too, leaving screech marks on the track with this flying run from Soho Tsunami. Soho Tsunami gets clear, flashing home as he better step aside, but Soho Tsunami's in front, and Soho Tsunami beats, he better step aside. So as I said, plenty of great stuff on the track this week and some outstanding racing to come over the next seven days. Now in other news, the New South Wales Harness Racing Breeders Guide was distributed to more than 2,500 breeders across Australia this week, promoting New South Wales-based stallions. Now that is a great initiative because it helps protect and build the future of our industry. 
And I close this week with some sad news, unfortunately, the passing of Western District's legend, Ron Jones. Now, he was the president of Trundle and a delegate to the Western District's Association as well as a harness racing authority steward. So our sympathies extend to Ron's family. These are delicate times as the health pandemic rages around us. Please be safe and follow all those health protocols. You can watch all the race meetings on Sky Racing. Stay safe, be kind to each other, and I'll catch you next week for another edition of The Sprint Lane.